First of all, it's, it's not the analogy to an MRI image when you get into the details of it is there's a lot of differences because we constructed that. That was not one technology giving you one data feed that gives you the whole image of the body. Right. It was a collage of different data sets that were stitched together right. to get that image. The, the first top layers are the magma metal series classification. The second deeper level is the tomography. The core is based on a dynamic core model that was done in an experimental by Yasuda and others. And I just, okay, so we have, we took the three and pasted them together. Right. And in the case of the core, when we rotated it around so we could get the plume that was coming out of the core with this big plume that was coming up through the tomography. And we said, oh, maybe those are tied together. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, right. but You're, that's that's what we did. Right. It wasn't right. like we did one continuous shoot of the whole thing and that fell out. It's right. a composite model. Right. That Now, it might have the effect. Right of an MRI image, but it is not a direct analogy at mm. all. It's, it's a model based on a lot of eclectic data sets. 